Hello, hello. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to do a quick Webflow tutorial to help you with your nav bar on your website. Let me kind of show you what I'm talking about here. So let's share my screen. We have our website here. There's a website that we worked on in our agency, Unfinished, for a business that we just launched recently. And we have a great marketing website here, an example. But the problem here with the nav bar is when you scroll down, the nav bar disappears. Now, a lot of people want something to stay where the nav bar stays so that you can go to any of the other pages, you know, at any time. And so we're going to do a quick uh, solution for this nav bar. But before I move on, just a quick introduction. My name is R.R. Abrat, and I'm the co-founder of Unfinished. And Unfinished is a full stack design, web design and web for development agency that helps companies both at the startup and at the enterprise level build creative and innovative websites. But we're gonna go ahead and hop right into it. So let's go into Webflow into this particular website. Now, first off, we see here, what people like to do is if what they want is they want the nav bar to stay at the top, even when you scroll down. So what people do is a simple fix. If you've worked in Webflow before, you've probably done this where you get the nav bar. Now, excuse any bugginess, uh, I have, a lot of things running on my computer right now. And also with components, many of you that work with Webflow with components, that's happened before, right? So go ahead and click the nav navigation right here. And what people like to do is they'll go ahead and go to the position and make it fixed, right? They'll go ahead and make it fixed, make it all the way uh, at the very top right here. Now, of course, what that does with this section here kind of moves it up a bit. So let's add some padding here. And that's a simple fix that you can do. First off, get the navigation, make it fix, have it go all the way up to the top. As you can see now, when you click this, all that navigation is always there so that when you have a user going through your website at any time, they can go to the other pages on your site. But the problem is you're wasting some really good retail space over here in your screen. Right now I have a large screen, so it's kind of okay. But what about if it's on your phone? What about if it's on a smaller computer? Also, right now, this nav bar is actually a really good size. It's not that um, high or not that um, much of a height, not that tall. But there are some nav bars where it's pretty thick, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple scroll animation. It's going to take probably less than five minutes, to be honest, where when you scroll down, the nav bar will disappear so that people can see everything on your page but then when you scroll up anytime you scroll up on the screen or on your website that nav bar will show we're going to do this probably less than two three minutes okay so let's go ahead and double click this uh, there's a component what i'm going to do just for the tutorial sake i'll unlink this instance so that we can make this work for a lot faster um you can totally do it as a component honestly that makes more sense because then you're now it will apply to all of them but i'm just unlinking it for the sake of this tutorial so we'll go ahead and click navigation right here and go to the animation panel and we'll click the plus button. What we're going to do, actually not the element trigger, I apologize. We're going to do a page trigger. We're going to do a page trigger. Let me delete this to look like we're starting over. And then we're going to press the plus button and actually the page scrolled animation. There's actually an animation not a lot of people use in Webflow. Uh, if you notice there the description, animate when page scrolls up and or down. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click page scrolled animation. And we're going to start with the scroll down. So we'll start with the scroll down action. We'll select an action and we'll click start an animation. And I'm going to press the plus button. We're going to go ahead and title this uh, navigation scroll down. I like to make the actual animation, the type of animation it is, um, all caps. And then small caps would be the component or the section, whatever. Anyway. With the navigation selected, we're going to press the plus button here on the actions. And we're going to click move. And you're going to be surprised how simple this is. Um, first off, we're going to set initial state. The initial state is how it is right now. So we'll go ahead and put it at zero pixels. And then with the navigation still selected, we're going to press the plus button. You can do it that way. Or you can even just duplicate this. And there you go. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the Y axis, which is the up and down axis, is negative 100%. 
And we'll make it a little faster, not too slow. So duration of 0.3. I don't know why. With my animations, I like to make it 0.3. That's kind of usually like the optimal speed I like for animations because uh, I want to make sure the animations are uh, good for the user. It's not a distraction. It's not taking forever. It's just something that's seamless, right? But also something that kind of shows as well. And that's it. We're done. We're going to go ahead and click Save. As you notice, if I go on the very top, we'll go put our preview mode. If I scroll down, notice that navigation disappears, right? And then you, uh, so then none of these information will be lost when a user is going through your website. There's a problem though. Navigation has gone. It's never going to come back. So that's not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a secondary action when the user scrolls up. So we're going to click, click, clock, click, select an action, start an animation. And let's go to the navigation scroll down. We're going to go ahead and click these three dots and duplicate it. And we're going to edit this one. Let's go ahead and click the gear button. We're going to call this one scroll up. You notice here we're working at the inverse. The reason why I'm working at the inverse is to make this workflow a lot easier. All we're going to do, we're going to delete this secondary um, action. There you go. And then we're just going to turn off initial state right here. Change the duration to also 0.3. And let's go ahead and save. So what's going to happen now? What's going to happen is whenever we scroll down, the nav bar disappears. But at any time in the page, whenever your user is on your page, scrolls up, that nav bar reappears. The reason why, why do you want it that the nav bar scrolls up when, or reappears when you scroll up? Well, a lot of times the reason why a user will scroll up is because they want to get back up to the navigation. Instead of them having to go all the way back up, it will show right away. And anytime you scroll down, it disappears. Anytime you scroll up, it reappears. So it's always easily accessible for the user. Well, I hope that was a help. Super quick tutorial. Hope you like and subscribe. Follow us. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at Team Unfinished or myself personally at RR Abroad. Hope you all have a blessed day.